guys, happy Sunday. We're doing a nice little Sunday vlog. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. It is only 70 degrees outside right now, which is so crazy because that just like doesn't happen in Texas in August. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe, post a ton of vlogs, lifestyle products, book recs, recipes, things like that. So today is just gonna be a nice little Sunday at home, a little Sunday routine, if you will. I have a bunch of different Sunday routines I do depending on you know how I, how I feel when I wake up in the morning. Today I want to order my groceries. I'm not leaving the house. I don't like leaving the house on Sundays. I like being cozy and it's also gonna rain. I wanna make a soup for the week. I want to maybe take a master class. I wanna write some. I already did my morning pages. I wanna read. I'm reading this book right now and I'm at like 40% and I can't really get into it, but Part of me is like, I'm already at 40%, I might as well get my Goodreads mark, you know what I mean? I have new bedding, actually, and then I have a new sheet set from Brooklyn Inn, which I'm about to go switch out, but I'm waiting for my coffee to arrive. I was gonna walk this morning, but it's a little bit humid, and I just wasn't feeling it, so my Starbucks is on the way. Also, my new Skims pajamas, they're my favorite pajamas from them, I have like three different colors, um, in pink, I mean, fabulous. I also have my first fall candle burning, smells so good. It's from, I think, Glass House Fragrances. I like a sweet fall candle. Honestly, it just reminds me of the ones I would have in my room when I was a kid. But it just, it feels like fall. I recently got a masterclass membership and I just found this one on the art of home cooking. Basically, it's all about like farm to table stuff. And now I wanna to go to the farmer's market and the farmer's market is open and it's not gonna rain until this afternoon. So I actually, I actually think I really will go. And there's something about these that are just so calming and I'm loving them. Oh my gosh, like amazing. But she said in the trailer that she has one on, um, see the farmer's market. So I'm gonna watch these before I go and then I'm gonna go do my sheets, Sunday morning things. And I ordered coffee, it didn't, it said it got delivered, but it got delivered to the wrong house. So I'm just gonna go pick some up. All right, y'all, I just put on my new Brooklinen. I have the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. I'm actually about to go pick up some pillows, so I'll show you guys in a second once I have my pillows and stuff all set. But I did just wanna show you, like, it feels like you were, like, in the mo like a five-star hotel when you use Brooklinen. It is so soft, so unbelievably comfortable. Here we have the sheets, and again, like, I just cannot begin to express to you how soft they are. Like, Brooklinen just feels so luxe. It's just so soft. It also, in the middle of the night, if you get really hot, it doesn't really happen in Brooklyn, and I find that it's very breathable throughout the night. It really improves my sleep. All right, y'all, the bedding is done. It is so beautiful, and it looks like a hotel bed. Look at how beautiful and nice these pillows are. So, something that I've realized as I, you know, lived on my own, became a homeowner, rented, like, actually, the second that I moved out, I realized how expensive bedding can be. Like, it is absurd how expensive it gets. But Brooklinen gives you the quality and the comfort with a more affordable price because they cut out the middleman. The whole company was founded on the idea that people deserve simple, luxurious home essentials at a more affordable price. So for example, while the classic and the luxe bundles can cost between like 200, 250, just depending on the size of bed you have, if you were to get that at another like luxury sheet bedding place, it could be $500. Like it is crazy. We also spend so much time in our beds. We spend the third of our lives in our beds. So we need to be investing in them and getting the best stuff possible without breaking the bank. I'm so affected by my environment. Making my home feel beautiful is like the number one thing that I care about and it's such an act of self care. Right now, Brooklinen is giving my viewers 15% off from now until September 8th. Be sure to take advantage of that and stock up on all of your favorites now. All you have to do is click the link in my description and then the discount will be applied at checkout.
Thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I love Brooklinen. You guys need to be investing in your home, but this is a way to invest where you're getting the luxury where it's not breaking the bank. So I'm telling you guys right now, click the link in my description and you get 15% off Brooklinen. I have the Lux bundle and I love it. I've had pretty much everything on that side at this point. Um, I think the Lux bundle honestly is my favorite, but anyways, click the link below and you guys can shop. Okay, I've changed. And I have these socks, guys. Like, this is so random, but it's hard to find the perfect pair of socks for sneakers when you want them short. I got them on Amazon. I really like their Ritzia TNA socks, but they're more expensive, and I honestly like these better because they're a little bit lighter. Um, and they're just, like, the perfect, perfect sock. You know, when you're trying to get, like, this look, I'm telling you, I'll link it below. Um, I have so many because I wear them literally every day. Also, when I'm putting these pants on, I don't, they're not the vision that I that I wanted. I just found them. I forgot I have them. Um, and I pictured them differently in my head. They're a little bit long on me. Um, so, like, I'm still going to make it work. Because it's just like a farmer's outfit. Farmer's outfit. I'm going farming, guys. Um, a farmer's market outfit. And I'm not trying to, like, do the most. You know what I mean? I'm trying to like, go in, go out, get my bone broth. I hope the lady is back. I used to go to the farmer's market a lot and they have this bone broth there. It was so good and I love bone broth. And then the woman, she left the farmer's market and that has been really hard for me. And ever since finding that out, I haven't been back. I'm not kidding. I went once and there was no bone broth there and I left. I said, enough is enough. No. I don't even know if I'm gonna wear these. These are from Reality Eyewear. Just need. So this is my farmer's market look. Pants are URVs, they're really comfortable. Top is Outdoor Voices. Shoes are New Balance, I got them on Goat. And sunglasses are Reality Eyewear. I need to kind of brush out my hair a little bit, but uh, it's really just doing its own thing. I'm listening to the Martha Stewart podcast. I'm like really living my best life right now. I'm at the new Starbucks drive-thru. Hi, oh no problem. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, I got my coffee. Um, and I'm now finally at the farmer's market. I'm listening to Martha Stewart's podcast. This morning in my master class, she was just saying, you need to go to the farmer's market. Let the food speak to you. Decide what you want and then decide after you get your stuff what you're gonna cook for the week. That way you're less um, recipe reliant, which I would like to be less recipe reliant. I feel like everything I do is based off another recipe. I wanna just be able to cook. And also, I've been doing the artist way. If you guys don't know, if you've been listening or watching the videos, um, it's this like 12 week program where you do morning pages, you write through pages every single morning, you take yourself on a solo artist date, you read this book along with it, and it really just like recovers your creative self. It's like the tagline, but it just makes it makes me like feel a lot more connected to myself and more creative and I was thinking the other day I'm like I love cooking but I don't feel like I cook like I don't feel like I like use that in like a creative way necessarily I'm always going off recipes it sounds very like hippie and you know whatever but uh listen I want to be creative in my cooking is what I'm getting at and so we'll see what we'll we'll see I've been wanting to make um my just like vegetable chicken bone broth uh soup again so I'll for sure do that I don't know. I'm I can't just like buy random things and then think of like how to make it. I, that's not how my brain works. But I'm gonna start today and just try. I'm not saying that's gonna fully happen, but I am gonna try. So anyways, I have my headphones. By the way, I get questions about this all the time. They're Bose QC45. I actually did a brand deal with them, guys, and they're my favorite. Oh, they're my favorite headphones. I use them every day. Okay. So we'll listen to Martha, and then I have the Okine tote bag for all of my purchases today.
farmer's market haul they didn't have obviously i need things like kale and carrots and celery and whatever and they didn't have it that's the only uh, downfall this is what i got so if you guys watched my vlogs like last fall or 2020 whenever i was going to the farmer's market like quite a bit there was this one woman there that i buy bone broth from and i love bone broth and then she disappeared so ooh, 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 this little thing is ooh, freaking me out um anyways i finally found a place that sells bone broth ooh, containers of it um i use that as the basis for a lot of soups i also got some chicken breasts from them which i'm gonna use for soup tonight what else did I get? Oh, I got sourdough bread. Let's see it. Wow. Ooh, looks really good. I need a little bread holder. Gotta figure that one out. I got a bunch of Texas peaches because they are just so good. Like, absolutely incredible. Also, um, ooh, some of these are bad, but... I don't have a um, grill, I wish I did, because we made, in cooking class, we made this, in our grilling cooking class, we made like the best peaches. I also got red potatoes, which will be for the soup later, so I'm gonna put all these here. Um, what else? Oh! This guy was selling pickles, three for 20, and I got some. Amanda loves pickles, so I got her one of them. These are normal dill pickles, and then the other ones were like spicy. Amanda really liked, there's not like a title, I don't know exactly what they are. One I think is jalapeno. I got these like microgreens that basically, you just put a little bit of water in all every day. And she said, if you wanna keep it longer, you can put it in the fridge, and they'll last for about two weeks. Just like my teacher on Masterclass told me, I was talking to the people, I was asking questions, asking where this stuff was grown, getting to know them. So it's a very important part of your farmer's market experience and that is how you will learn over time. So anyways, I didn't get that much stuff because I just really needed like the basis for my soups even though I wasn't supposed to go in there with the idea of what I want to make. But they didn't have like a ton of different produce is basically what I'm getting at. So I did see when I was driving off, it was like a different area and it looked like it had a lot of produce with the same stuff, but I didn't get to walk in it. So I want to try that next time. I also want to try like the Lakewood Farmer's Market. I know there's one there. I don't know about any other ones, but just let me know what you guys are doing. I just want to say this tote bag was the best thing ever. I wouldn't have survived the Farmer's Market without it. Absolutely incredible. We have a little haul. I got a few things from the Aritzia sale. I didn't even realize they were having a sale. I just really, I have this tank top in a lighter gray. And I will say I got it in a medium. My other one I realized afterwards is size small. And I wish I would have gotten it in a small, but it's still like fine. It's just the most flattering cut and I love it so much. They were out of other colors and stuff, but it ended up being on sale for like $15. They have like a little shoulder pad moment, but like it is just really cute and I love these. so. Hopefully they have um, more of them and more colors and stuff when there's not a sale. And I also got these tank tops, which I don't really know why I got them because I have ones from Skims that are similar, but like you can never go wrong with a tank top. They must have just been really on sale. Um, they're Wilfred free, but here we go. With these I got a medium and I would have done a small on all of them. And then this one was super on sale and I got this in a size small and I just thought this would be cute to wear. like whenever with jeans or even under like another sweater or whatever it is. I have some Revolve things. I think I got the wrong sizes. I got these jeans. Um, what size did I get these in? I don't know, but I saw them on the side. I thought they looked cute, but they are definitely, I think they might be too, I think they might be too big on me, but maybe they'll be slouchy. Who knows? You never know until you try things on these days, but they're girlfriend denim. They're super soft. I love the thing that I noticed about some of these like higher in nicer denim brands that I love is that I will get a size like 27 in jeans and they'll be like way too small on me and then I'll get a 27 in another pair of their jeans and it's way too big on me. Like it's, they're not cohesive in their sizing, you know? Um, well I got this top which I thought was so cute. If you wear this with like a black skirt or even denim. Um, it's a one shoulder top, which I love. 
goes down like this, has a little opening with like this little silver thing. It's a longer top, looks super cute with a skirt or with jeans. I'm really excited to wear this to like dinner or something. I also got this dress, which is also one shoulder. This is ours. Um, I thought this was super cute. I don't, I guess I will have to wear a bra with this one. I'll probably just wear like a bandeau top bra or something, but fun to just wear this on a top with little heels or dress it up in the fall, wear like knee high boots kind of vibe. And this dress is definitely also too big. I need to exchange it, but it's this pink dress from Tula Rosa. And it's super cute, super frilly, whatever. I got it for this photo shoot I'm doing and I thought it would be really fun, but it's just like a little bit wide, so I think I'm gonna exchange it, which is interesting, because I feel like, you just never know these days. Like, I feel like I'm a true medium, and uh, sometimes sizing is just kinda all over the place, so I do think I need to at least exchange these two pieces. Um, yeah, I'm getting hungry. I just like cannot even describe to you how amazing my house feels, because the AC is on, it's about to rain, I have fall candles going, like I am just, living my best but what I always do is obviously I live on my Google Calendar I, I feel like I've been talking about that forever but um, I organize my entire life to the hour on my Google Calendar so I have like every workout I do even walks that I do random things that I need to like get done um, whatever like I have a photo shoot this week um, I have a bunch of I have a few recordings I have a bunch of like random meetings um, I have events things like that then after that what I'll do is I'll go through my um, notes app and I will like go throughout my week. Like I'll show you. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and I go through and like for example it'll be right here, seven, walk. And I do my entire um, schedule again. But this just helps because I also will add in to do's and then throughout the day I just check it off. I know it's probably a little bit tedious but something about it like really helps little grocery haul from what was delivered. Carrots, celery, kale, avocados, blueberry, cauliflower, bananas. Got some stuff if I wanna make sandwiches, which I never do. And then iced coffee, which is an essential. I actually have another order coming because I added some um, because I'm gonna make this like chicken peach thing. I like kind of had the idea. I knew I wanted to make something with peach. I looked up a recipe, but I feel like that's the start. Okay, I think, oh, I just hit a button. I didn't mean to hit. I really want to watch that Untold, I think it's a like, docu-series on Netflix. Let's see where it is. I keep seeing it all around. Kim Kardashian posted it to her story. Like, I've got to watch. All right, I'm getting a little bit of editing done. I'm letting these sit to thaw out because I'm going to start cooking in a couple hours. And I just started that series. My culture shock. I started on the chicken peach recipe thing. It's gonna be on my Instagram and TikTok. I'll just do a cute little relaxing montage, if you will. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna immediately make soup. I'm just having a couple hours of cooking. I mean, there's nothing that puts me in a better mood. Jess and I are actually gonna do a call in an hour and a half um, to the Okines. She's a working gal now, so for some of our calls, we're just gonna have to do them on like weekends or after work or whatever. <laughs> smells incredible like I'm really just getting cocky it looks really dark on camera it's actually not but um, amazing I'm starting on my soup so I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'm gonna eat it but it like it smells incredibly the lighting is kind of tough it looks like there's nothing there it looks like everything's burnt um, it's not it's very colorful it's just raining so it's kind of dark anyways it's incredible <laughs> Alright, so 
this is my soup. I love making this soup. It's just bone broth, lots of vegetables, whatever you have basically. Kale, I add in chicken. It's so easy, but bone broth is so good for you and this is a great way to get in like a ton of good things for you. So, um, this is probably gonna be meal prep because I just ate, actually maybe I'll be hungry later. I go to bed so early though. The first meal I had, the peach chicken, was maybe, like okay, guys, I'm not kidding. I that might've been the best thing I've ever made in my entire life. It was so good. So I'm posting the recipe and stuff on my Instagram and on TikTok, but like unbelievable, so good. Um, and then this is just like a really easy go-to that's really nice because it's basically meal prep and you have food for the week, which we love. Oh, look at Fitzy. Oh, you look so handsome. You look so handsome. Yes, you do. In 10 minutes, I have a call with Jess for the O-Kind. And yeah, I need to go on that soon. I already filled up my water and stuff for it. Okay, guess Coca wanted a little shout out as well. Okay, I, I get it. By the way, guys, these shoes, I get a lot of questions on them. Love them, they're so cute. I got them on GOAT. Um, so like every time I try to link them, it doesn't work. But I did get them on GOAT and I decided to create new balances. Great meeting, I am so excited. We are, I feel like I can talk about this in the vlogs, cause I feel like I just like tell you guys whenever, and then it's like the other people that I don't tell things, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I just tell you guys. So we are doing a pop-up in New York in October for our next drop, which is like, I've never been more proud of a product ever. Like I'm so excited. Um, and then we're last minute, I think doing a pop-up in September in Dallas. And we were just like going over future drops and it was a financial meeting. So it was like, you know, one of those. Um, side note for my Dallas people. I did want to let you guys know that I will be starting this fall, November, officially hosting a book club in person. So I have the venue, I have everything set. Um, the book that we're going to be doing isn't even out yet. So I'll probably announce that when it's closer, which is like kind of really far in advance right now. So that will be really exciting. Also, I will be hosting a Pilates class at some point in September, I think, with Shine. So once I get all my schedule stuff done for the pop-up and the Shine stuff and like whatever, I'll be doing that. And yeah, it's just, it's a really good time. I love what I do. I'm so, I'm just like so happy. Um, anyways, I'm answering some emails right now to kind of get ahead. It's only like 7 p.m. And I think, oh, I just downloaded a new book, Miss Independent, and I think I'm gonna put a hold on the book I've been reading, and then I'm also gonna read Ashley, oh my gosh, Ashley Flowers' book. Oh, I'm gonna start making like book topical dedicated videos. So here's my ideas. Comment below what you guys want. All of my Kindle, I get questions about that all the time, and Kindle Unlimited, we can do that. Um, books I've rated five stars, which is kind of a problem because I didn't start reading books until like 2020. One, so all the books in 2020 that I read, like It Ends With Us and like Verity and all that stuff, I didn't read, so I'll have to go through, and I didn't even like track the reading, so I'm gonna miss some. Um, I could do like top books in different genres, books to get you in reading, like whatever it is, you guys let me know, because I'm gonna be a little book girly, you know? Like why not, I love it, love it so much. Okay, it is now time for me to pick up my outfit for tomorrow morning, so I think, I mean, I'm gonna work out, so this is really stuffed right now. I kind of like these together though, if I were to do this top with these bottoms. I started going to weightlifting classes like literally last week around to Walmart. I already have a bunch scheduled um, at Fit Social Club and I love it because I was wanting to get into weightlifting, but I felt like I had to get a private trainer to do that because like I don't want to have the wrong form and like, I don't know what to do. Um, and these classes are 45 minutes and there's only like six people in the class and it's so not overwhelming and they're so nice And it's just like so great. So anyways, um, I have that tomorrow Which I've been looking forward to I've been like so like all the next vlog is gonna be all about like health wellness Whatever because I've been so on my like workouts and just loving them. I'm feeling so good Like I have so much energy so much mental clarity and then also um 
I have been at her store. I've been back in my infrared sauna. I've been cooking. Like, I feel like a new person. I feel so good and just like alive. You know what I mean? Doing a little Sunday night skincare. I'm in the middle of doing the Cryo Rubber Dr. Jart face mask. This feels so good. I love masks like this. I love the Dr. Jart one. I feel like this quality is like amazing and then i love the loose ones as well i feel like this one is slightly like a little bit thicker uh but they're both like really really good i'll link it below and it's just like i feel like it really locks in just love the fact that i like just put face masks on like this all the time and I'm just like yeah okay normal like i actually look crazy right now but like i don't even think anything of it because I'm really glad I left my house today. Like, it's rare that I leave my house on a Sunday, but I had such a good time at the farmer's market. It was so great. And I found a new one. I'm going to try out St. Michael's next week. Oh my God, it's so fabulous. So that is it for my Sunday vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned for my week and my life vlog. Um, subscribe as always. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.